Well, hello guys, and welcome. Finally, finally, I was able to stream. And, well, before doing anything, I want to address a thing. There's been drama going on. Oh, man, my gaming time and drama. I bloody hate it. So, yeah. We had some people breaking away. Here, some people going... Uh, going just, just, just... Deleting the characters and stuff, you know, that's just, that's so weird to me. I never thought about um, the Final Fantasy community being so abrupt, so to say. So we've been trying to build a community for a while now. And then just, just without saying, people are starting to leave. People are grouping up, building their own free company, and they're free to do so, like, don't get me wrong. Just give me a bloody heads up or something. Like, there were people I actually trusted with a lot of stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Well, we all have our own gaming time, and that is also the same for me. I'm actually very happy to be playing again. Um, I was a bit on the fence about it. Like, ah, should I? Should I really? Yeah, I should really. I should really. Looking forward to that. It's, um... I can't wait for the very first dungeon. And it, I think it should be, hopefully, during the stream. Uh, but we'll see. So right now, we are heading for the quest from one heretic to another. Um, decided not to continue with the red mage. And instead, I started leveling up the machinist. Um, and I picked up all of the crafting jobs that they're going to be... A lot of work. That truly are going to be a lot of work. Uh, and it's not something I can level up quite fast. Like, lately, like, my wife's working schedules have changed. And they drastically cut into my streaming time. And also, the organization I work with is currently in the midst of a reorganization. So, it's basically all hands on deck. But, okay, it's fine. It is what it is. We will just have some fun. I decided to probably just stick with the Dark Knight and the Astrologian. Um, we're halfway to like level 454, which is, you know, fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not sure if I want to pick up the quest right away it kind of depends on what type of skills we get from this delivers a jumping attack with the potency of 150 cannot be executed while bound that makes a lot of sense now doesn't it because you if you're bound to the floor it's not like you can really jump off but anyways let's talk to the expedition leader we have as uh Astin, Astin? S Estinian. 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 That's how we say it. Like, it's, it's just weird. Like, I feel like it's missing some some vital clues for me. I've also been uh, been told, like, if you play Heaven's Ward as a Dragoon, you might get some more dialogue, which is interesting. So, here we go. Let's go talk to the expedition leader. You wish to track down Lady Iceheart, is it not so? The records we discovered are uh, those beasts mauled by... Uh, wait, wait. The records we discovered are uh, those beasts mauled, my compra, uh, comrades. Uh, appear to be some manner of correspondence. Whatever. We had not the luxury of pursuing their contents more closely. Intent as we were on surviving an onslaught... Of fang and claw. Well, that makes a lot of sense, now, doesn't it? But I wager those epilists can contain more than a friendly solution between loyal heretics. That's fine. I just didn't get one thing of it. My interrogation of... Wait, my interrogation of the patrol proved fruitless. Either we divine some clue for some letters... Or we wander the snowfields and pray that the gods lead us right to Iceheart's door. It's hardly a coincidence at all. Okay. Where are you going, mate? Also indoors, huh? So there's going to be some clue we need to be finding then. 
there anything in here? I so disturbed. Wait, what the hell? What's that? Okay, so that's three letters. Uh, we'll just we'll just slowly get them. I will slowly work our way through the the MSQ. Like, I am not going to be planning an event anytime soon. I had my fair share of it. We've done a lot of leveling, and by the end of the day, it it kind of proved fruitless and pointless. Because, you know, leveling up in this game is not the the biggest deal. It's actually quite easy to do so. Anyways, expedition leader. Yeah, and I'm a bit salty. I'm sorry. I'll try to be a bit, bit light on the situation. You know. um, have you recovered much of the heretics' correspondence? Yeah, man, three letters. You just walk past them. Splendid. Um, added to the contribution from Master Levenger and Sir Essestin, we have now more than a dozen letters. What we have? Uh, what have we here? Mm -hmm. Every one of those pages is a record of the dealings betwixt the Gorgigan Mill heretics and the followings in the Aka Affen Affelstintia. Okay, whatever. There are requests for foodstuffs. Foodstuffs? They request for foodstuffs. Stuffs of food, clothing, and all matters of provisions. I said followers must yet inhabit the ruins we had thought abandoned. Why did you why did you think they were abandoned? Critical hit determination direct hit rate. Uh, let's go with critical hit. I'm just saving up the essences. Is there anything I should have been addressing? Um, no, none of these are done. Um, I will address these. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to be the sole crafter for the time being. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, wow. Some people leaving sucked. Absolute donkey balls. So, the... Afistan Theater. The very place... Where you witnessed the manifestation of the primal Shiva. Was it? Do we have to go back? If that is our destination, the journey will be long indeed. The theater lies on the other side of a treacherous track of ice and snow that cannot swiftly be crossed. Then we must pay. Um, we must place our faith in the Ifanef. That that's the only thing I worship. The Ifanef saves you a lot of walking. As you may recall, our dear friend Von Brea succeeded in recreating the beacon after it had been destroyed by Lady Asert. After a time, it was assumed that the restaltant Ephorite could only be temporarily viable, but given that the heretics of Gorgane Mill seem to have been in regular contact with the brethren at the amphitheater, I'll wager it still functions. I suggest we make for the Ephorite with Snow Cloak without delay. So we're actually into a dungeon right away. Correct me if I'm wrong, Assistant. But in the course of mapping the Snow Cloak tunnel system, a, pa uh, a passage was discovered leading into the Western Highland, was it not? Might it be possible for us to reach the Ephorite from this side of the wall? It should. How's Durin there posted soldiers at the Western Highlands entrance after the tunnels were cleared? But they will not deny us entry. Ah, uh, that would be nice. What's up, buddy? What's up? Why am I both donkeys are just eyeballing me like crazy? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, so where do we need to go? Wait, is there a... No way. There's a dungeon entrance over there? No. Oh, we're most likely just going to go into the... Oh, so that might be the theater. Man, I'm hoping that we'll find more etherite Of more of these wind... Wind things. How do you call them again? Wind currents? Ether, ether currents? 
if a com yeah if occurrence i think that if occurrence let's take a look what does it say so 9 30 then i read very slow but you know that to the south west so south west i'm going to assume it's somewhere in this vicinity but then again we have to just fill we just have to continue the story we just follow that and we'll eventually just reach our destination I can't wait to start flying here and the reason for it's going to be simple I need to be gathering in this particular destination that's what I need to do. There's so much I need to do. It's absolutely unforgiving. This game can be unforgiving. Uh, I should have actually done that. Oh, there is so much. I'm also trying to... S oh my god. My dog needs to go outside right now. He's starting to bark. Like, oh, I'm exploding. I'm exploding. Give me a second here, please. Um, am I safe somewhere? I'm not sure. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so they're outside. I need to pay attention to them, but I kind of don't want my character to just remain over here. Seems like uh, something that will eventually kill me. I can't wait to actually start doing some of these fates. Some of these fates are like bound to uh, achievements, which are not in this one. Uh, where are the achievements again? I think oh, it's in character. Let's take a look. Last five, no current area place. So these are all in here, and one of this is attuned to the ether currents, so we can fly. That gives you five. Um, we have fought the zoo. I've actually tried that once on my sorcerer, 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 black mage, and I, uh, I, I got killed very, very fast. And you definitely need a full party for that. Uh, we'll just head out over to the quest objective. Hopefully, it is down there it does seem like so hopefully like just over there dogs are barking again man they are so noisy last times okay where is it it's still going down no way oh that is a long way down I okay, don't break anything. Okay, let me go check on my dogs real quick and I'll be right back again, of course.
<laughs> this. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wish you guys could see them. So, yeah. Um, I do want to pick up the pace a bit. I'm very sorry for this. Uh, let's take a look what's going on. Like, is this an actual dungeon? Ah, the guest of House Fortan, accompanied by the Azure Dragon, no less. He's going ham. Let's see. I cannot imagine what brought you out this far, but you are welcome to enter the tunnels that you... Uh, that is, if that is your will. Yeah, I, I use going ham in this uh, cage. Like, I, I call it a cage, not really a cage. Also, what do you think of the light? Like, I, I put a bit of a warmer light. I've noticed that the lighting, because I've changed. Dude, seriously. Come on, man. That's what you get. It's raining outside. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like water at all, don't you? No, you don't. It's like eyeballing me, like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Anyways, um, so, yeah, uh, I, I lost my, 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 my train of thought here, but that, that's fine. Uh, we'll live. Um, let's continue. Assuming that Aka Afar Beacon still functioned, and we must spray to the 12 it does, we shall arrive at our destination in mere moments. Though I do not expect to be greeted by the primal Shiva. We should nevertheless be prepared for a frosty reception. The heretics are not likely to rejoice at the appearance of uninvited guests. Particularly ones with our history. Is this opening a dungeon? No, it's just a sink. I I honestly hope you guys don't hear the dog. I honestly, I also should try to be a bit more bassy in my voice. Here we go. Wait, no voice? Oh man, an impressive structure. I wonder how many ages it has endured. Maybe you should ask its occupants. They seem a friendly bunch. What's up with the hostility? Dogs of his god! It is not enough that you banish our beloved saint. Will you not be satisfied until the ice is slick with the last drops of our blood? Stay your weapons! We come under the flag of parley. We wish only to speak with your mistress, that we might broker a peace. Do you think us fools, boy? It will take more than honeyed words to earn our trust. You walk with a dragon slayer and we know all too well where, uh, what he is capable of. Yeah, he's a bloody... My reputation precedes me. It sure as hell does, dude. Ah, uh, they give us little choice. Come, brothers. May dragon wings bear us to victory. Okay. Um, let's make sure grit is on. Otherwise, that would be annoying. Let's get this done. Let's get quickly the second one done. Group them all together. And get this. That new attack skill that we had is actually quite nice. Let's. There we go. And put that on. I keep forgetting what the, because I'm rotating classes so many times like I keep forgetting what they are like I should really just pick a few classes that I want to play uh, wavering heretic I think the wavering heretic is the biggest problem I'm blinded as well now good like that yeah the wavering heretic definitely is a problem let's go group them up there we go that's better man the lighting in this is absolutely lovely. I love it. Okay, come on, guys. Wide-eyed swordsman. Well, you wouldn't say, wouldn't you? Okay, let's go smack him up. Get out of that. I could stop doing those damn skills. I was actually reading this skill. Grants the effect of living death when a pay HP is reduced to zero. While under the effect of living death, instead of becoming KO'd, 
Your status will... Okay, so this is basically my oh my god, I'm about to die skill. Which uh, I quite like having. I need to remember that. We need to place that somewhere where it's more convenient. This skill allows you to... Give you five stacks of blood weapon. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, where is... Is there a healer somewhere? Ah, uh, we only have the mage. Come on. Let's get the other one. It's too heavy, this, this salted earth. But still, I, I quite like it. Uh, we should keep our skill up no matter what. I think. Uh, yeah, okay, that actually helps us work. Ooh, big boy! Of the first line. Okay. On. This way, please. Come on, leave Esselstyn alone. He is only a dragon slayer. <laughs> I should actually be using these skills as well. Like I said, man, it's been a it's been a few days since I was actually able to play decently. Keep that skill up. All that matters is the additional buff. And that's a 10% buff. Which is quite nice. I like that. So it wasn't the dungeon. It was more like a fave. They fight like demons. This death. It's death to remain. Fall back brothers. Retreat to the cinders. Or ciders. Or cinders. Whatever it's pronounced. That's fun. Okay, let's see. I see no signs of Lady Isert. Would that we could have questioned one of them. What could you ask that we could not already know? They make for the cinders. And so was, must we. Even should an ambush await us, it's certain there will be more heretics in question. So true, man. The cinders, you say. Is it cinders? How do you pronounce it? The cinders. I would say Cinders, then again I'm not English. I confess, the name is unknown to me, mayhap you would be so good to enlighten us, Essestine. I suspect it is the heretic's way of referring to the Dreaming Dragon, an island of sorts found in the midst of the frozen lake of Ashpool. Some 500 years past, it's told that the Azure Dragon of the Age fought a dragon of titanic proportions. After, uh, after a savage struggle, the mighty creature was weakened into the point of death and forced into a magic, magic slumber by an entire chapter of Holy Seer Sorcery. Well, did they just made it asleep? Ere long. A rain of ash and cinders did begin to fall upon the sleeping serpent's motionless form, covering the creature at length in a shroud of grey. Of course, the thick layer of uh, a thick layer of ice has formed on top of it, but you, you may be sure I speak true. But you may be sure I speak true. Uh, there's no reason for him to lie. So yeah, I get it. A fascinating tale. We should make haste to this Essen Island. Okay, so, um, interesting, I guess. Like... <laughs> oh well, let's go. I was hoping for a dungeon. The Dreaming Dragon lies far to the west. Before we approach the Frozen Beast, however, there is another place I would visit first. 
I am told the convictors have set up a camp in the Twin Pools. Their leader, Gentilot, may have information for us of use. Ah, but Mayhap, you are not familiar with the name either. The convictors are dragon slayers after a fashion. But I am willing to wager that they encountered a fair share of heretics. If we are indeed walking into a trap, I should learn all there is to know of our foe. Oh, well, that makes sense, right? A sound suggestion. Let us speak with these convictors then and tempt our haste with a measure of caution. I'm still... I think we go this way. Yeah, precisely there. Surroundings of the amphitheater. So this, this is actually the dungeon. How... We should actually encounter a blue quest. Pro probably not over here. But I'm thinking it's going to be like west. Yeah, precisely west. Dead on west. 922 yards. And we find the next Eva current. Where's travel again? There you go, Eva current. Yeah, we have like four quests we still need to do, and only I think these are storyline, or are these the normal quest? I keep getting confused about that. Like it's not very clear to me. And this is not the dragon that they refer to in that story because this one seems, you know, kind of deceased. Man, <laughs> this bird walks so slow. Oh man, I can't wait to fly. That would be so cool. Just flying again. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Like I said, I'm looking forward to that. Where is that dragon then? There is, seems to be a bit of a cave over there. Okay, let's do the Eva compass again. 317 to the west. Okay. Oh, we're actually absolutely near. Oh, this is the Convictory. A cool name. I like that. Convictory. Wait. Isn't this where we... Where we, like, fought? Or something? Okay, there's the Eva Kermit. Let's go there first. Not that it helps, not like, it would be nice if you get like walking speed by uh, how many of these currents you got, uh, you know, basically not what's going on. Right, let's talk to these fellas over here. Gentle it. Okay, come on dude. Well, well, what do we have here? Hoping to join the esteemed ranks of the Convictors, are we? Not really. The hard-eyed lass looks promising, but you have a frail look about you, boy. I give you three days here the wilds claim your corpse. I beg your pardon. <laughs> okay. Be not so quickly to judge I've seen this frail, you fell heretics with a flick of his wrist. And who are you to question my... By the fury! That armor, that lance, the Azure Dragon himself graces our camp. Pray forgive my disrespect, sir. I am Janslot, leader of the Convictors and fellow dragon, a slayer of dragons. May I ask what winds, fares, or fowl carry you into our humble camp? <laughs> you may. Yo, Ida, how we doing, man? Hey, Lady Isa. Uh, aye, Lady Isa, is it? Aye. I know her by reputation, but I'm afraid I've seen not of her or people. Doing fine, you get... How is that? How did that paper go, by the way? I completely forgot to ask. That said, my own man can be <clears throat> somewhat lax when it comes to making reports, as you wish to question them yourselves. Still ongoing? Dude, that's, that's forever. That is forever. Thank you, Shell. 
daily and sustain. Make sure, may uh, let's us make way through the camp and see what information is to be had. Will we ongoing until like the midst of the end of October? Do what? Damn. Like, is this like for a major assignment, like for a big ass company, or is it just a job interview? Like, because I, I'm starting to feel like this is more than like, what what my fair of share job interview would be. Also, what do you think of the light? Is it better? Is it too much? And let me get something to drink because I'm thirsty. It's an insane promotion pro process for getting into higher grades and they'll make a huge bullshit deal out of it. Oh, I just love how easy going you are with that. That's fantastic, man. Technically, they try to lure people into nonsense of no management required, but asking exactly. Oh, wow, that sucks. <laughs> that sounds so annoying. Oof. Well, good luck with that, mate. So we have, it seems like, two quests over here. And they will give us two Eve Currents. I remember you. How could I forget? You're the lass who was in the Azure Dragons company. I just, I was here like four seconds ago. Um, the lighting is, um, you are brighter than before. You actually got a, a, a desk light over there. I, I actually didn't have my... Usually I turn this light on. But as you can see, my camera is probably over lighting me a bit. Like, I'm not sure if this is better. I think like I'm very top heavy right now. Yeah, I, I could switch it so you can actually just see the full glory of a yellow lighted desk light over a Basically a ceiling fitting. <laughs> uh, since you are here anyways, map, you might think to try your hand at a spot of hunting before you depart. See for yourself what life is like for us convictors. The Dravanian horde is stronger than you might expect unless you have been at it for years, like I have. I think it prudent to start with something simple and then work your way up to dragons. I suggest rooms. Slay three of those, come back here, consider it a warm-up. Let's do it. Yeah, I, I think it is better. I think it's it's a bit more warm. Warmer light. Okay, where... Wait, I need to kill slimes? Yeah. Interesting. Let's, let's pull through a few. Hopefully it won't kill me. Okay. Come on. Let's do this one. Can I line them up a bit more? No, I don't think so. Here we go. Try it one more. Uh, I don't want my, to overburden my choke. Well, he's basically my one-time healer right now. So, yeah. I need to be paying somewhat of attention to what's going on. He's giving me regen. He's trying his best. Uh, we still have 8 seconds of the wall skill. Let's make sure that we keep doing some AoE over here. Until right now. Let's kill the other one first. Man, I can't wait to get into the diadem. Oh, I'm looking very much forward to that. I picked up my crafters. I've not done anything. I know I could probably do like level 20. Um, to... Wait, wait, to with where you get the classes because well you basically get all of the materials you need over there okay that's done let's go all the way back over there choco regen <laughs> it's this cool name though i like it and there's another one so basically let's give us a quick peek travel if a current let's put that up 
So one and three. Oh yeah. No, never mind. These are the quests. So we'll get three, three. Two more quests remain. Most likely the dungeon. And one story bit, and then we'll be able to fly again. Um, slain those room already, have you? How did you find them? Did they put up much of a fight? Not really, but I pulled three of them and a go. Good work, lass. Clearly the Azure Dragon doesn't travel with mere amateurs. It sounds like those rooms, right, right, rooms, barely put up enough of a fight to be considered a proper worm-up. You clearly know what you're doing. If you want to try your hand at hunting down some dragons, speak with me again sometime. I don't, I don't think I've talked. I don't think I, if I want to. Okay, you are you. Another one. Here we go. Cowards! All of you! Have you no shame at all? The fuck's your problem, man? Oh, I bag your. Wait. Are you not Mistress Fix? Honored ward of the house for Tom? Praise Halone. Surely you will consider my request. Know you, um, know you the dusk vigil, westernmost of the citadel watchtowers built to warn of the horde's approach. It was lost following the calamity, another victim of the snows. Within the rooms lies a priceless treasure, which must needs to be reclaimed. I fought to enlist the service of these so-called dragon slayers. But it seems their courage is not as boundless as they would have you believe. But you, ma'am, you are not one to shy away from danger, am I right? Very good, very good indeed. Here's a sculpture of the fury within. There is a sculpture of the fury within the Dusk Vigil's chapel. A ice ronsel is set in its helm. I would have you prize it free and deliver it to me. The vigil is not difficult to find. Simply head north towards Banepool until you come to the gates. Oh, this is the dungeon. That's the dungeon. Knights may be bar your passage but should you explain who you are they will grant you leave to enter so this actually brings me to the dusk vigil i have some faint memories to it i'm not particularly sure on it elfinod is eager to get information on it i think this will bring me to that region as well but we'll just check it out Surely, one of those people will have encountered heretics while out hunting. Pray, speak with as many as you can. Uh, Alfield is a lazy bum. Truly. Okay, what do you want? Looking for heretics, you say. Hmm. Why don't you go to... Why don't you... Why don't you go and bother? Pyramid of some sort. Ooh, oh, that guy over there. I have enough trouble keeping these... Brining fops fed and closed as it is. It's no business of mine what folk do with themselves out here in the wilds. Wait, I need to talk. I need to talk to him. He, they sent me towards this guy. Okay. Born is Bennett. I don't think he knows anything. Nay, I know not. I, I know of no heretics. Do you honestly expect me to keep track of every road mokes, Vantimod and Bertenond that wanders in and out of camp? So she was actually the only one with actually decent info. Hmm. Are there any heretics in the area? I have not the faintest idea. Why a heretic would pass under my very nose and I should be none the wiser. I hunt dragons, my dear lady. The big ones. Forever do I scan the skies for signs of my prey. I care not for the miserable creatures that scurry upon the ground. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I knew we had to go there. Uh, if you need someone to join, I would love for you to join me, mate. Truly. Some of I can help you with, my lady. Heretics, is it? Well, 
I've never seen one myself, but that ain't to say I haven't heard a thing or two. <laughs> that 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 shadow is absolutely amazing. I would be grateful for any information that you can share with us. The gods know we have gleaned precious time from talking to the rest of these people. Wow, that was so obnoxious. If it please my lord, I'm Peric Peric. A soldier by trade, though not much of one, if I'm honest. It weren't for the uh, for the love of stabbing folk that I look up. Wait, a it wasn't for the love of stabbing folk that I took up the spear. See, no, it was by the order of Sir General's father. Still, as long as I, as they keep paying me wages, I ain't fuzzy as to what they have me to do. Not everyone's as patient as me, though. Plenty of lowborn lads who get pressed into service start grumbling before they've seen the second battle. And once they've got to thinking how unfair it all is, I don't take much for the heretics to turn their heads. It, it don't take much for the heretics to turn their heads. For what I hear, the simple promise of freedom tends to do it. Uh -huh. That may explain how Lady Isot was able to expand the following so swiftly. Sad to say, some maids of mine gobbled down the heretic's tribe and asked for seconds. Told me they were off to the Western Highlands to light a signal fire. That's how you let the heretics know you're serious about joining their ranks, apparently. Send up some purple smoke and the bastards come to you. Is that so? Why then? I am minded to start a fire. Oh, me too, mate. Me too. So, do we need to go into the vigil for... The quest? Also, we have another quest over here. Lucier. Also for Eve Currents. I mean, they're just passing it out like it's for free. Want me to help you, do you? Well, there's plenty that needs doing and killing besides. I'm sure you've noticed that dragons aren't the ones, the only thing we have to contend with out here. Take polar bears, for example. They come here looking for easy meals, drawn by the smell of our cook fires, and then raid our stores. Think you can thin their numbers a little? Killing four or so should suffice. You'll be compensated for your troubles, of course. Yeah, but food. I just may have food. Okay, they are right over there. Quickly do that. Uh, would we be able to pull four of them? Now that, I do not know. Uh, reduces damage taken by 30. Uh, let's do it like this. And this one is reduce damage tailed by near enemies so this one is reducing the uh, damage done this one is reducing the damage taken and this one is reducing damage taken by 20 so it's basically one two three okay let's see if we can pull four can we just get over here mate come on i don't think we can do it no they're too far apart that's fine let's zoom out a bit Okay, let's make sure that we don't take damage as much. Man, I was too far away. That was weird. Or MP actually. Okay, that's only two. Uh, that's not the one I think I should be pulling. Let's take a look over here. Yeah, these seem way closer to each other.
go. Make sure they focus on me so my chocobo just can, you know, keep me alive. Which is always nice. Oh, I'm standing over that way. Yeah, I, sh I was actually... I had my camera twisted. Alright, that's it. Let's go. Uh, let's just get on the chocobo. How much do we have right now? So, this would seem... Like, there's only one quest remaining once we have done this. So, we're not a hideout then. There's also a chocobo keep. So, you can rent one over here then. Esselstyn. It's also the continuation of the quest. Well, you're certainly more reliable than any lordlings I've ever seen. Uh, you have only got eyes for... They've only got eyes for dragons. Even though I'm telling them time and... Uh, uh, telling them time and again. That if no one else... That if no one sees those bears. There will be nary and scrap. There will be nary a scrap to eat. But do they listen? I dare say everyone around here could stand to be a little more like you. Well, I said I compensate, and I'm true to my word. I trust you consider this fair remuneration for your efforts. Okay, what do we have over here? Tenacity, vitality, critical, perception, GP, piety, vitality. So that's for a healer, this is for a tank. There we go. Let's talk to Ethelstein. Let's see where he points us. And this does indeed give us a current. If you are able to lure our foes into our position, then we must find the means of producing a signal of purple who. As it so happens, I once heard a tale of a trapo dropped the hide of a woolly yak into his campfire. Aside from a terrible stench, the story also described in detail how the smoke from the smothering flames was tingled a deep violet. You are a monster hunter of some note, are you not, Daily? It would prove a trifling task for you to procure a number of hides. We may need to burn more than one ear to heretics, uh, for the heretics to notice our beacon. Uh, Master Alfinot, you and I shall gather wood for the fire. Aye, it will take us both. It will take the both of us to find enough to drive fuel in this frozen wasteland. Let us meet again at the Dreaming Dragon with the fruits of our labor. Okay. Uh, where is that labor? Okay, so that's over there. I'm, I'm still thinking that this is still part that eventually we'll get to the dungeon. But I'm not sure, maybe, I, I don't know either, do you know, do you like remember if that is indeed true? I'll just say hi. Hi there, there you go. I don't like it when people say hi and there's no reply back. Wait, these are the, wow, these are large. Okay, I need two. Would I be able to pull two of them? What is true? Like, does the story bring you to the dungeon? Or is it just... Uh, is, is this, like, optional? Unless you want to fly. <laughs> because if it's optional, we can just jump in the dungeon. Uh, in this map, it's optional. Okay. Okay, that makes sense, then. Uh, let's just pull that one. Then we'll, uh, we'll just do the dungeon real quick in a second. Wow, they were not messing around.
on. I hate those attacks, man. They're way too massive. Uh, one is down. We got one. Wool. No. 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 How dare you? How dare you? Walk away from me. Show me your fluffy tail. Just like that. Okay, we'll do the uh, the dungeon in a second then. Did I? Did we ever do it again? Like, have we already done this one that you recall? I can't. Re I don't remember, actually. Okay. Um, I'll jet towards the dungeon. Um, need two more for. Uh, what's it called again? What's that dungeon called again? Um... Dusk Vigil. Here we are. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Nadine. What's this? A ward of the House Fortan wishes to enter the Dusk Vigil. You are aware that these rooms are infested with wild beasts and gods only know what else, are you not? Why, just the other day, one of the convictors claimed to have seen a massive winged beast. Not a dragon, mind, but something altogether different. But far, uh, but far be it from me to deny an esteemed personage the opportunity to kill herself, to kill herself in a new and exciting way. Huh. Yo, what are we doing, MC? I uh, just witnessed that you said you had a haircut. Hopefully it's a good one. Alright, so the Dusk Vigil is now accessible. Uh, let's go over here. Members. At the party. <laughs> sure, call me in Helen. Uh, what role is needed? Um, let's take a look. What do we have currently? We have... Healer, tank, uh, DPS. DPS. <laughs> yeah, you're usually flexible. That's true. What is that? Dino. Yeah, I. Uh, that is, I think, um, a Twitch emoji. Maybe one more. So many people online, but they're all like doing their thing, right? I like that. The game lets you just be free and do whatever. I should probably change that. We're not going to be recruiting. If people want to join, they can join, but I'm not going to be actively recruiting until we dealt with some, some problems. I need to get more of these up and running. I should look into the Heat of Battle 3, what is needed to get them, because I have no clue whatsoever. It's all short again. I feel like a new person. I, uh, my wife also likes short hair. And it looks good on her. So, yeah, I can definitely imagine that um, it's a universal Twitch emoji. Yeah, it's the, it's the dinosaur. Everybody get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. It's probably something like that. Alright. I'll guess I'll queue us up then. Uh, anyone in the cross world? So many people in, in, in that. Let's take a look at you. Can't display. He is a scholar. 
and a minor level 75. Uh, link shell? Ah, there's not much going on with the link shell. Alright, we'll just queue us up then, that's fine. The very first of the dungeons, huh? Here we go. Let's commence. Twitch has been adding emojis like mad these days and just spotted new ones. Really? This one wasn't there yesterday, I don't think. Cool. I should look into that. I usually don't. Did I run this dungeon? Uh, yes, I did. It is snowy. I le last time I run this was as a healer. And the tank who was with us went for one monster at a time, which was hilarious. Uh, let's go. Oh. Hi. Let's go ahead. Grid on. Right, I'm new to the dungeon, so we're getting more rewards. Let's see, that one is closed. I think we need to go into this direction. Oh, I'm not having all of them. It's usually it's a problem. Okay, which one am I losing? There we go. Okay, get that on. Finally, I can utilize like all of my skills, which is um, as something I've not done in a while. It's still free, so I can still do an AoE. I can't continue, right? Can I? Can I just continue? Wait, is this the beast we're after? Holy crap, man. That is a griffin. Come on. Okay. Let's go over there. You. You. Oh, well, we're stuck. Let's get another buff going. Okay, we have our oh shit skill if, if something is going on. I love emojis. That's why they're so fun. Yeah, they are. Like, I, I've tried uh, adding adding my own, and I, I, I'm horrible at that. I truly am. Okay. Alright, here we go. Dude, don't be mad. Come here. Come here. Go back. Man, this, this beast is a, is a joke. Not strong at all. Let's go. So I think from now we could... I wish I could pull the entire region. I'm not sure if I could have. Isn't there like another beast going to be summoned? Yeah, I think there is another one. If you touch like the leverage or something. But I'm not sure about that. Okay, he done his shout. Now he's mine. There you go. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I could have run that a bit differently. But we'll, we'll, we'll see next time. Uh, key. First boss time, I think. I think this is the... I'm not sure, but I think this is the dungeon where eventually... Like, this Mehmet is going to be annoying because he doesn't follow normal rules. He will just target random people at some point. There's nothing I can do about that. At least that I believe I am not able to. Yeah, I didn't get that. Yeah, see, he targets um, Riley over there. That's not... Oh, yeah, Riley. There's nothing I can do about that. Ah, 
Oh, I got a massive heal boost there. Have you ever been to that Mammoth coffee shop? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, I didn't. I did not, my man. I did not. Trunks and donuts. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. I like that. I like it. Wow. Come on, man. I don't like this boss at all. But what can you do? I should be definitely <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, I, need, I just need to spam my MP skill less. Because, you know, it's it's painful. Uh, one more time then. Get that skill up as well. I should not actually doing this. Two skills together. Not a good plan. Not a good plan at all. Yeah, I wish I could stop that, Nadia. I'm not able to. Sorry. Hopefully you're okay. Can't wait for more skills though. That's going to be lovely. Looking very much forward to that. That jumping attack, maybe it's interesting enough just to actually get. Like early on. Uh, okay. Chest start. Yeah, they start dropping only like... Um, how do you call that? Um, jewelry? Yeah. Okay, can we do this? Yeah. There we go. Man, that... Oh my god, that's disgusting. Okay, keep doing the AoE. That's more important right now. Eight seconds until we have some for, uh, form or sort of damage mitigation. Not sure if there's more though. Let's just walk over here, see what happens. I don't see it. There is a treasure co uh, coffer over there, which I kind of want to take. I kind of need this, the... Um the how do you call it again seals so uh, um, anyways MC how have you been doing lately um, gives you time to read don't forget to revisit and explore a what's explorer mode again wait where do you come from you joking I did not know that otherwise I would have pulled all the way over here they're not too strong. Like, it's fine. Like, most of them die very easily. Barrack doors? Perhaps there is a key! Where the hell is the key? Oh, uh, I think I know where explorer mode is. It's where you just go in as a way too high level, or you can just click it. I think this is where a large portion of the fighting is going to be. Okay, let's go over here. I should have actually used my... Attack skill in there, and I completely neglected that. That's 10% of damage that I didn't do. Okay. Um. You're joking. See, I, I knew there was going to be another wave. Maybe I cannot do both at the same time. Okay, there's the key. Cool. Um, this was focus on boss, I believe. Well, I'm not sure. I think it's focusing on boss. Because there's so many 
deaths over there. No need to get hit like because you're not paying attention. Yeah, that's that's the first ones. Just focus on the boss and just tank that. Uh, I, I see a large tech zone appear. I'll have to read that in a second. If someone is attacked, I will definitely try to do something about it. Is that a limit break? Okay, I'm messing up rotation now. That's that's silly. That's silly. Uh, I think I have the majority of them. Let's get that surgeon. Let's get the surgeon. Leave my surgeon alone. Leave my surgeon alone. Come on. So much of that going on. It's annoying. Alright, there we go. And it's gone. There we go. That's easy. Uh, nothing to run. Uh, been a right there has been making life things but much better now. We're struggling to get. Let's roll it, please. Roll. Roll. Uh, having all the time. My eyes continue irritating. But now things are haircut. Yeah, I hope it works. I hope it really helps. I, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm doing good. Basically, I always say I'm doing okay. I, I, I should not be sulking as much, man. I'm over exaggerating what an FC means when people start leaving, and I should not. It makes no bloody point to make a huge fuss out of it. I think there's another boss coming in here. Wait until everyone is there. Bloody throwing bloody snowballs at me, bastard. Come here. Yeah, I hate these wind spirits. They're annoying. Luckily, I have an amazing DPS and a great uh, healer. Wish we could just get you over here, please. Come on. You're annoying. Just get in my AoE. These always hurt like a brick. Okay, we need to kill these until we can move on. But yeah, I, sh I should not be complaining. Uh, life's been good. Things have gone well. Um, we're in the midst of reorganization at work, which is always a nightmare. Nobody likes a reorganization. At least I I, I never liked them. But it does bring a bit of stress with it. So this is going to be the boss, huh? I, I love how he looks, though. Outer walls. Yeah, I don't like because you could get chill. One second, there we go. Some damage mitigation. Get that oh shit thing going on. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll be fine. We're doing our best. Okay, uh, let's put that one on. Get less damage. Uh, we have a chapel. I think this is it. Like, did we get the entire dungeon explored? Yeah, so we'll actually get an achievement for doing that, I believe. This is not the dungeon I was actually referring to. Uh, let's take a look. We did get the additional uh, achievement. Wait, he wants me to just take the int Okay, well that's easy. That's convenient. But is uh, okay, we have pillars here, so there is a hiding thing. So we'll need to pay attention to that. Like, it always gives it away. I'll just pay a lot of attention to... My guys. Oh, wait. I need to pay attention not to get too close to them. Because he can actually... I think he can destroy them. I think you don't want to be in there. Yeah, definitely not. Hey, let's go. Oh, it just summons that rock back. Okay, they're all over there, which I think is good. Wind of winter. Oh, they, he breaks the... Uh-oh. Uh oh, pull me in quickly. Help me. I can't move. Oh, I'm screwed. I really screwed up. Oh, uh, will I live? Yeah, I did. Wow. Well, that was more luck than it was anything else. I think I might have screwed everyone over with this damn thing. Yeah, getting blown up, literally. I know, I'm sorry. I feel bad. <laughs> Actually, well, it didn't do as much damage as I would have imagined it does. Okay. Will of Goat, let's go. I'm, of course, on the other side of the map, making it so easy for my healer. Well, it should be fine. Okay. Never use kick. <laughs> In the boss fight before. 6%. I think we can limit break this. There we go. Hacking and sliding, nice. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, GG. Wait, what's going on? Why? What, what's? What the hell is my my thing doing? <laughs> uh, okay, so she's gone already. That's fast. I'll greet that. Play a recommendation. GG and thank you. Uh, rescue didn't work for some reason. Guess it overlapped with the pull from Whirly. Interesting. 
I was actually, I, I, I knew it, I knew you would try, that's for sure, I knew you would try. Uh, it's been a shame, you know, but thank you, thank you for participating, really appreciate it. Now, do these dungeons nowadays just give tomes as well? No, they don't. That's, that's a shame. Uh, because eventually, like, I level 100 and I'm at 115, I think. Oh, I need to do the MS. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to. Thank you for joining. Yeah, I think. I yeah, it's weird, right? That these are. Like, it, it doesn't say. Like these, do you know they give it away? It, it doesn't have the icon. I think that's that's the the thing then. Uh, Helen, thank you for joining, man. Appreciate it. I'm not sure if you're watching the stream, uh, but let's go. It's time that we go back over here, deal with this. Now we do need to explore the map. We do need to explore the map. Oh, I will definitely have fun. I love this story part. The the one thing is a bit bit annoying. It's like uh, it's it's annoying to deal with the no flying because you're you're so used to it. But but we're almost there. We're almost there. I think I keep pressing the bloody wrong wrong one. Um, uh, finally pushed the two point. Oh, how did they did did they really like improve the game? I, I I've never played it. Is it is it any good now? Cyberpunk. So this will give us another one. So there's two, uh, one more to go, and then we can actually fly over here, which is an absolute godsend because I can start collecting the goods we need for the workshop. You have it, Mr. Sphix. I do have it. The media and lots of critics do claim it is better now. It's difficult things, judging by the I did like it in 1.0 already enough. Yeah, you know... We cannot blame them for pushing out a game. Because it, by the end of the day, it's not their decision. Like the developers, not their decision. It's the, the people who paid them that make the decision, so I'm not blaming them. Uh, but for the grace of the Inquisitor, suspicion of heresy. What rot. He knew what he wanted from the start. By the time I secured her release, they had interrogated her for days. She was a shadow of her former self. But the final insult, the final twitching of the knife, was when my son took command of the Dusk Vigil and found the eyes rundle to be the centerpiece of the newly commissioned sculpture of the Fury. He couldn't prove it was the self-same one which they uh, which had vanished, but oh he knew. But no more, no more. It's back with the family where it belongs. It is admittedly hollow comfort. Yet in my waning years, I must accept what little that can be had. Alright. So, travel, if current. Yeah, it's one on one. One on one, here we go. Yeah, we'll definitely finish the map. Well, I'm off for the time being, boys. Thank you, I appreciate that. Appreciate it a lot. Coming online to, to assist me. Um, I want to promote this person to NCO. He has been great. But I'll, I'll talk to him about it later. Let's go, FC. 
Thank you for the assist. All right, we need to go up. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Like, come on. Come on, me bird. Oh, speaking of birds, I should probably just check. Oh, we're level 54. We have a lot of these things to do. Uh, but companion. We're halfway rank 8. Nice. Can I do this on a chocobo? Nope. Nope. Now, if we don't have to enter a dungeon, I don't have to do this one. Like, I'm not going to do it on stream because it's just, it's, it's so overwhelming, so to say. You know, by the end of the day, eventually we'll just get things uh, sorted. See, that's done. Anything else I need to... What you working on? Um, currently... Streaming on Twitch. Um, Nadia was assisting me with a dungeon I had to do. How about you? There you go. Let's talk to Ethel of Estes, Estinin. Est, Estinin, yeah, whatever. It would seem that collecting firewood is a new experience for Master Alfinat. Um, his, his must have been a priv privileged upbringing. <laughs> have you the hides? We need it. Are you kidding me? Like, he made you wear, do all of that, huh? Oh, it is a nice purple, actually. I wonder. I, I will ever, ever now and then. I ah, she's already here, man. This is fast. I should have known it would be you. Just casually walking up, like you wouldn't do that, right? Word reached me of a struggle with a small but well-armed band of trespassers. Forgive my comrades their hostility. Few come here uninvited, and fewer still with good intent. Now. Tell me why you are here. Uh, we wish to stop Nitok attack on Ishgard. We wish to speak with you. It, it kind of is true. Like, we do want to stop his attack. But I'm thinking, like, that's too direct. Uh, we wish to speak with you. So, you seek to stem the Dravanian tide with talk? A romantic notion. Um, I'm hopeless romantic. If you but knew the truth, the spark which lit the flames of this animosity, you would understand the futility of your quest. Shall I relate it to you? The sordid history my gift has shown me, that which the Holy See has taken such pains to suppress. Yeah. Hey, you can do that? <laughs> Holy shit. Twas more than a millennium past when an Elizan tribe first sought to claim the lands of Kurthas as its home. Unfortunately for them, Kurthas was already home to dragonkind, and they were not inclined to make way for the invaders. Thus did a bloody war begin. A war which might well have rumbled on until one or the other side was exterminated, had it not been for the resolve of a single woman. That woman's name was Shiva. While those around her fought and died, she attempted to parley with the dragons, and in so doing discovered them to be possessed of profound intelligence and reason. The great worm Hresvalga in particular so enchanted Shiva that she found herself growing to love the creature whom her people considered a monster. In the eyes of a near immortal dragon, however, the fleeting life of an Elizan is as that of a freshly cut rose. 
Scarce has the flower bloomed before it begins to fade and wither. Such melancholy musings plagued Trace Fulger, who had found in Shiva an unexpected and beloved soulmate. He knew that all too soon, death would snatch her away from him. Unable to bear the thought of their separation, the maid bid the worm consume her, that their spirits might be entwined for eternity. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> A strange love Although affection. To perform the deed, Fracefelger ultimately gave in to her plea. And soon thereafter, the tale of their ill-fated love spread throughout the two warring factions. No more could they raise blade or claw against one another, knowing that the souls of their kin were so inextricably bound. This is a bit of a Romeo and Juliet love story, isn't it? In the days that followed, man and dragon learned to live in harmony, and together built a nation unlike any the world had ever known. For 200 years did this blissful age of peace continue, as it would to this day, had vilest envy not stirred in the hearts of the Elizin. It is said that worms owe their longevity to the boundless reserves of vitality found within their eyes, and twas in this belief that a traitorous band of knights deceived their allies of some two centuries and took by force that which they coveted. Nidhogg, he who now stands poised to unleash his wormlings upon Ishgard, was the great dragon who lost an eye to Elizen treachery. And until he prizes it from the hands of the traitor's progeny, no amount of conciliatory words will stay his fury. Okay. You are wrong, Lady Iceheart. Lest you misunderstand, I do not doubt your vision of the past. Tis true that Nidhogg greatly desired to reclaim the Eye. Indeed, it was for that very reason that I kept it with me as I roamed the land attempting to draw him away from the city. Why would you show it? Good gods! Until recently, Nidhogg seemed unable to resist its allure and pursued me relentlessly. Needless to say, that is no longer the case. Now, it would seem, he has fixed his attention on Ishgard itself, though he knows full well the Eye does not reside there. You believe he targets the capital for another reason? I would do it, probably. I believe reason has all but left him. Through the Eye, I feel much of what Nidhogg feels, and the dragon's thirst for vengeance will not be quenched by aught less than a sea of blood. If Nidhogg is indeed lost to reason, why do we not seek an audience with Hreisvelger instead? He has thus far shown no inclination to aid in the invasion of Ishgard, and may yet welcome our efforts to broker a peace. You still believe that a peaceable solution can be found? Very well. I will take you to him. Our road will lead us to Dravania, the homeland of Dragonkind. There we shall ascend unto the clouds, where Hraesvulgar resides. J just like that. Alright, that's cool. Uh, I'll take it.
Wait. Is that because like she is Shiva? Or why does that crystal just bloom up? Is autumn miss, my friend? I sense the many battles are beginning to take their toll. Rest a while. And should you lose sight of us, Dravania lies beyond the mountains to the west. Curious. The vestiges of thy mistress's blessing are not as faint as once they were. Thy will to succeed grants thee unusual fortitude. But will it be enough? That is a good question. Alright, let's oh so we got another one over here. Let's take a look what I've been missing. Um it was a huge company management mess up. Yeah. Definitely was. Uh, would be surprised if I do this nonsense again with the actual new game. Yeah, I think that would be horrible if they did. You know, if they really... If they would do that again with the new Cyberpunk. Oof. Oh, that would not be good for that company f at all. Uh, Timothy is still in post on Realm Reborn. But I did access to things like master tomes big fish etc so doing a little bit of grind here today yeah sounds like a great plan for the day mate so what do we have over here oh so we get 125 now considering i don't have the tomes to buy gear for my dark knight let's just make sure let's let's try this on oh i like it i like the look of it kind of naked on the legs but still the top is good nice let's, let's take that you are daily yes pray address me as um yes Isale, Isili, Isili. Um, if you wish, it's passing strange, is it not? That uh, fate should bring us together thus. Never did I think to walk alongside the warrior of light, but history is full of such unexpected alliances. Shall we make our way into Dravania then? The chill of the Western Highlands is unrelenting, and I would sooner be under the sheltering canopy of the Chocobo Forest. Fuck yeah, man. I'll, I'll come on with the Chocobo Forest. I think that's a great idea. Uh, is there anything here? There is something... Wait. Oh my god. Like I would have missed that. No way. Is that the final one? Yeah, we can fly in a second. Oh, that's cool. Can we fly without actually getting that monster to attack me? That would be nice. There we go. Yeah, we got the flying ability back. Oh, that changes so, so much. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, now, I would normally just fly around the map exploring all of the places, but I'll do that when uh, when you guys are not watching. You discovered a new location. Oh, this is so good. Flying. And new area, which is even better. I love new areas, which also loses. You, just, you immediately lose the ability to fly. <laughs> Beyond Abalathia's spine, 
the great mountain range that spans the continent of Aldenard from east to west, into the deepening shadows of Som Arl, where lies the ancient home of Dragonkind. Made a frame rate go finger on them. Where the soil slithers and the sky seethes with sinuous shapes, they came. Say, sailor. It would be say lay. You stay. You sailor. You say lay. I don't know how to pronounce it. This does annoy me. We now stand on the threshold of Dravania. The path to Som El will take us far to the west, beyond the embrace of the forest branches. It will be a long and demanding journey. Might I suggest we take our rest? At the village up ahead, and see that we are probably uh, properly provisioned. There is village here, but I thought these lands, uh, the sole domain of dragon kind. Why would anyone choose to live in such a perilous of a place? The wild chocobos, a uh, tail feather, was built by hunters who make their living capturing and selling the beast. Their leader, uh, Master Champ, Marsh, yeah, Master Champ, is a acquaintance of mine. Being a Gregorious sword, he will no doubt welcome our arrival, and he will also possess more recent knowledge of the roads we seek to travel. I trust there are no objections. Why would there be objections? Only to the ceaseless chat. Oh, dude, you are such an ass. If we are to meet this acquaintance of yours, let us do so before Ishgard burns. Okay, I, okay, I get it, I get it. He's an ass because he is. He, he's a man of the clock. Like, he is trying to save his home. Okay, it, make, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, there is a need for current. Immediately pick that up. Okay, so that one's done. Where's the next one? That we southwest 500. So southwest. Holy crap, man! That that's like over here. Okay, so that that's going to be a while. Bit of a camp over there. Place looks good though. I like it. And there is an Etherite, so that really cuts down on the traveling time. That's perfect. You know, it is a glorious looking... It looks very, very nice. Interesting statue over there. Traveling Menda. I do think we might need to check. I actually know. It seems pretty okay in terms of like how our gear is doing. Should place that in my uh, my chocobo. Let's quickly do that. If it's full, it's full, and I will have to deal. Oof. <sighs> oh yeah, it's full. Yeah, okay, I might need to start selling some of this material. Uh, or or trade it up for a higher grade. See how far I can bring this and sell those eventually. I think that probably would be the better idea. 
You have a cool weapon though. Okay, here's my champ. Well, tan my hide and call me Letterface. We have visitors. A home. And if it ain't the lovely stale. I think it's your stale. Your stale. Yeah, I think it's your stale. It's been too long, girl. It's uh, that it has, my chum, that it has. My companions and I are on a pilgrimage to Somal. Might we stay in fa until further a while and prepare for the next leg of our journey? Of course, of course, stay as long as you like. In fact, I wouldn't suggest leaving the forest at all. The dragons have been absolutely bleeding murderous of late. Really? Forgive me, sir. But I am not sure I understand. Do the dragons not bother you here in the forest? Bother us? Did you still not explain things to you, boy? You've seen them towering salm trees all about, have you? If you were flying above the canopy, you'd barely be able to see the ground. And as you expect, the local wildlife can be enough to stay beneath these trees of the leaf, which is why the dragons do their hunting elsewhere, and we can do ours in peace. I see, thank you for explaining. So, you're not living in peace with the dragons, they are merely accepting your presence. You're welcome. Now, I know it won't stop your stole here, but dragons aren't the only thing you'll need to keep an eye out for. Especially if you're set on heading west. Okay, let's get the rainbow shirt. Does it have like tenacity? Like, can we do an item comparison? What we have? What's up, buddy? The, uh, vitality, skills, skill speed. Wait, what? Is this actually for me? Yeah, but it's not named. Well. We'll just take it nevertheless. What's up, buddy? My dog is hungry and he's eyeballing me. Okay, so they also has some bad news, which is by the looks of it, a blue quest. Worse than dragons. Let's continue there. Which gives me. I'll get the gear for the. No, I don't need it for the astrologian. But we do have a machinist. Yeah, there we go. The machinist. So we'll take the first option again for our machinist when it actually hits uh, level 52. I dare say you're wondering what could possibly be worse than dragons, eh? Well, I'll tell you. The bloody Garmf. They're what you might... Um, they are what you might get if you cross an Andling and a Megalo Crab and taught the thing how to walk on two legs. They never used to stray far from their hives out of fear of the dragons, but they've gotten a lot more aggressive of late, sending out war parties uh, for malms in all directions. Uh, they've even talked of harassing the Dravanians in their own lairs, if you can believe it. What, well, really? And where they venture into the forest, where is it, where... Uh, which is more and more, by the way, uh, they... And were they... And when they venture into the forest, which is more and more, by the way... By the way, they certainly ain't afraid to come after my lot. Oh, like so. I can only imagine how much worse it will be closer to the Garm's home territory. So we need to talk to her over there, but let's talk to him again and get that ether current. I see you've been making the round. I see you've been making the rounds, getting to know the hunters in these parts. Well, you. How would you like to help a real hunter? That sounds good. I've been overseeing three camps set up to the east. But the lazy sods aren't sending me a report in, a, in over a fortnight and I'm too bleeding busy to be 
paying a uh, playing messenger you look right fierce enough to get the information out of them it's sim it's a simple job that will earn you some coin can rightly say no to that true true on that if that tackles your fancy then you need then you'll need to talk to the leaders of each camp um bunch of names hear what they have to say and get back to me when you're done okay so it's it, it just it's a walking job then i can do that I, I can walk where do we need to walk to i was actually one over here sides of the north uh shall we just pick that up right away yeah what do you want well Paint me yellow and call me a chocobo. That's Millif's sightseeing log. You've got there. Oh no. Oh, he's upgrading the sightseeing? Is that what you got? Ah, forgive me. I got carried away for a moment. I am Kester Ironheart, cousin of Millif, and an explorer of sorts, like most of my extended family. When I last spoke to Millif, she told me about of an adventurer with a keen case of wanderlust. An adventurer that I know now to be you. What say you lend me your log for a moment? Don't worry, I won't eat it or anything. It's empty, so you can eat it all you want. There, there, and just there. That should do, I reckon. It's no secret that this guard is home to some of the most remarkable sights in our realm. Mind you, I've not seen them all myself, but I certainly know where they might be found. And now, so do you. Thanks to my notes and rumors, I've seen fit to jot down in your sighting log. Well, uh, yes, scores of stunning vistas, uh, vistas, vis, vis. Vistas? Vistas. Oh, that's the same in like, um, what's the game called again? Um, Guild, Guild Wars. Guild Wars, yeah, Guild, Guild Wars. Uh, I'm just waiting to be discovered. Your legs will not carry you, uh, carry you to all of them, though. Should you find a particular spot out of reach, you might consider taking up to the skies atop a black feathered bird. Oh, but if you were to say more... I would be robbing you of the joy of discovering these spectacular views for yourself. Godspeed, my fellow explorer. And may this moment mark the beginning of a tour of wonder. Okay. Uh, we got now the sightseeing log expanded. Heaven sword entries have been added to the sightseeing log. Okay. That did not give me any fright. Um, here, here, there, I think. And then teleport back. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, there's a camp over here, which I reckon we need to visit. That is the first camp. And these dogs are annoying. Yeah, I'm most likely not going to be able to stream, like, for a full three hours. Uh, which is fine. No, I didn't have much time, and I'm absolutely happy that I... Got a bit of time to relax. How are you doing, dude? Yeah, you. What are you doing? You know, don't look at him. Are you just here to? Are you just want to be petted because apparently you think you're hungry? I know you're not. Anyways, let's go. Well, you can't see him because I blurred that stuff out. So here's one of them. What do you want? Aye. Things are going well enough. Been running into a bit of trouble with those giant bugs in the woods, though. Wait, that's, that's, that, that's all. You could not walk over there. There is the gate. Literally the gate. To send off that report yourself. Interesting. Oh, we got some red chocobo over here. That's interesting. Thunder. Well, didn't mean to look up chocobo ass, but still.
Uh, well, it seems my cooling is enough to run everywhere at max. Oh, it's cyber... Okay, cool. Nice. That is actually quite good, because I, I believe the graphics are insane. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. There's just that one bird that won't shut up. Haven't been able to catch a wink uh, for all its bloody screeching. Okay, so he's, he's having insomnia due to bird. Okay. Nothing over here, right? North, west. There's apparently this might be something over there. Okay, so there's a camp. Doesn't seem like I can access over there. Uh, two, four, eight. Two seventy west. That's over there. Wait, where do you want me to go? Again. Southwest. That's oh, there we go. Wait, is that another one? Oh, is that a site? Is that how they portray it, like a orb? Can I actually go up here? I think I can. Uh, it seems flat enough. But oh, these beasts look cool though. But they're even on that joke, boys. What's your problem? Had ourselves a bit of an incident the other day. Some fiend came stomping out of the tree line and gobbled up one of our freshly caught birds. It wasn't a damn thing we could do about it. If we're going to keep on in this area, we'll need some extra hands. You can tell, oh, that's a follow-up quest. He's going to be sending us out for a hunt. Let's go teleport back. So we get did get the Ifra. I'm going to assume we need to go there. Huh? Yeah, there we go. So, they all got issues, but none of them thought about asking for help. Do they think I'll bite off their heads or something? At any rate, I'd best prepare to round up the birds for, from each camp. Thanks again for your help, friend. Say, since you've already... Since you have already struck up an acquaintance with my people and all, Maybe you'll be willing to lend them a hand. Seems they talk to you of their troubles readily, uh, yeah, readily enough. Readily enough. Oh, they got no. Oh, okay, so they got some missions. Okay, there's there's no blue quest, right? No, doesn't seem like it. You stay. You stay. You stale? You stale. It would seem that much has changed in Ravania. The Garth were not uh, were not wont to cause such strife when I lived here. You lived here in Ravania? 
Aye. It was the time following the calamity. My family was dead, my home was gone, and I had fled from the bitter cold into these lands. I knew not the path of the, f of the forest then, and wandered out from under the protection of its boat. Boats? Boats? Whatever. That was when I chanced upon uh, Herr Velger. Hey, Harris Velger. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names. Uh, he had descended from his mountain lair to hunt for food. My exhausted mind could not contend with the sight of this majestic worm, nor the vision of the past his present visit up, uh, upon me. Thankfully, Marchcamp found my unconscious form at the edge of the trees and nursed me back to health, and in tail feather I remained for some time. Hence your familiarity with the locals, but... I interrupted you. You were saying these Gans were once a peaceful people. Peaceful would not be the most fitting description. They are a fiercely territorial, territorial tribe, and any who would intrude upon their domain are attacked without hesitation or quarter. Outside the borders of their homeland, however, they were rarely hostile indeed. We were even able to trade with them on occasion. They have changed them. What of it? We have not the time to creep through the underbrush on some roundabout route. I'd say we make straight for some ale and crush any unruly insect we meet on the foot. A more direct path then. Very well. Let us first follow the trail west out of the forest and make for the statue of the Stained One. From there, we, could, uh, we should have a fair view of the road that leads to Solm Elm. Shall we? Well, let's go. Okay, so we need to go... Wait, is he said west? Which would actually go like north, east, south, west. Defeat the foe that stands in our way. Alright. We'll go north. Can we go through the river? It seems that we can, actually. Uh, that cuts off some bit of our journey, I think. Warm river. Yeah, definitely. The worse than dragons. Is that where we have our first encounter with these... Uh, what they're called again? Garf? Yeah, there we go. Marching steel drone. And that weak. What the hell? Why are you fighting me? You're not doing anything. The fuck? Okay. And now we go west. Oh, okay, okay. Well, can we just jump the river? Like... Oh, this is where we would actually meet that Etherite then. I keep calling Etherite. It, it's an Ether current, but still. Next one would be a long way to the south. I think we could outrun it. What's that for a minion? I think I have it, I don't know. 
Oh, already it's been someone taken. Nice. It's really sweet giving minions away like that. Okay. It's only two of them. Yeah, I'm not too worried about him anymore. Okay, let's go do the single line attack. Do it again from here. Because why not? Oh, I like that bit a lot more than I like this one. Okay, right, here's the destination. Let's go. Should we chance to meet Marjap again, remind me to thank him. Had he not warned us to expect the Garv, I doubt I would be standing here. What? Amid, uh, um, uh, amid runes that I would tentatively describe as his guardian. The style, if not quite identical, betrays a definite resemblance. You have the scholar's eye, Master Alfino. The structure is, in fact, over a thousand years old. It is a remnant of an age where our ancestors and dragonkind live together in peace. Hmm. You claim this as evidence of our harmonious past. It was thought that these buildings were constructed by heretics in honor of your Dravanian masters. This rubble inspires no such arm in me. Stubborn fool. How dis desperately are you clinging to the false teachings of your beloved Holy See? That, that's not helpful at all. Enough, both of you. You threaten the success of our mission with this inquisent squabblin. Yeah, they're, they're like children. Daily. Pray reason with these two. Um... Set aside your differences for now. The truth of the past will be revealed. Our goals are the same. I would just go with the goals are the same. Like, I'm not grunting. Like, uh, I don't want to be in there. Quiet. Lest you forget, our goal is to preserve, prevent a war which will claim the lives of the Ravanians and Isgardians alike. If we are to accomplish this, you must learn to tolerate each other's presence. Trust in Delhi's gift. In time, the secrets of history will be brought to, the, to light. Let that be enough. You would have me keep my counsel until Daly's visions confirm the truth. Yeah, <laughs> I would probably say the same. Like, dude, what are you thinking, man? But bait me not. Our meeting with... Um, why can I not pronounce this? Heraj Velga. It, it, I know they've already said it a few times, but I'm just completely blanking out. Uh, will likely provide a catalyst Daly's gift requires, as it did mine. Let us press on. Okay, we're going for the machinist over there. I could take the money, but I don't really need it. Like, I'm, I'm not rich, but we, are, we, we, we made decent buck, I guess. Um... We could already take the gear on. Spy you the three great towers to the west. Um, is that that? I think so. Yeah, so. Okay, so he is talking about that. That's fine. Uh, his guardians know them as... Annex Trine, the place serves as the root of Ishvalga's lesser kindred. If we are to reach the peaks of, El, of Som El, we must first beseech these dragons to open the way. But do not be disheartened. 
the one who leads them is a friend. Or rather, more concern is the disposition. Or rather, more concern... Of rather more concern is the disposition of the guard. Let us survey the, uh, the approach to the tower and see if the path is clear. Okay. Let's go. No. We're here to make peace with dragons. Leave me alone. Wait, is these the three towers that we're talking about then? South East. It's over there. Wait, what? Well, I'll just go to the quest objective first then. How is this looking? Yeah. Oh, we're getting there. Where, where the hell do I need to go? Holy shit, man. That's far away. That looks actually quite nice. Uh, four eighty three. It says, I fear the road ahead is teeming with Garn soldiers. Uh, where? Marshcom did not exaggerate then. These beastmen have grown brazen indeed if they would threaten the dragon so openly. Do they intend to assault the lair itself? I pray they do not. Mighty though the Ravonian friends are, they are yet vulnerable to the Garn's muskets. Wait, they have weapons, they can just harm them? There's no route, there is no route save the one before us. There is no route save the one before us. Should the beastmen offer battle, we have no choice but to accept. I'm going to assume they want to fight. We're actually going there. Okay, cool. And the chocobo region is amazing. Such a useful skill. But that's it. Oh, there's more. They look, hey, that was actually quite funny. Alright, let's go. Let's just get on my chocobo. Are we actually going there? Yeah, we are. Interesting. Didn't think that would happen so soon. Blossom Ballad challenge complete. Wait, that was a challenge? Apparently. Not looked at those at all. I, I know I should eventually. But I kind of like to do things on my own pace. And I don't like to be forced to do any stuff I don't want to do. That's why I could actually spend so much time just trying to do the crafting or gathering. It's just because it, it's so easy to do. Except for the uh, the culinarian. Man, the culinarian's a bloody nightmare. 
I don't like it. Still, I think it's one of the few that almost have all of its um, summoning stone, all of its uh, crafting recipes at the maximum amount of uh, uh, materials. I take no pleasure in killing Garth. It was to uh, um, it was to avoid bloodshed that I agreed to join you on this journey. Well, it cannot be helped. We must proceed into the courtyard together, but leave the task of hailing its occupants to me. And keep your lands on your neck, dragoon. On my word to the war uh, on my word to the warrior of light, I shall start no fighting, only finish it. You truly are beyond salvation then. I, I love that I can just you know bind to that place. Oh, that's another name I cannot pronounce. Oh, he looks friendly. Look at its smile. Ah, tis thee, little one. From above, I did mistake thee for a nerf. Tis well I chanced to look again, or thou wouldst now be ash. So it's it's not a knaf, a gnaf, it's a knaf, knaf. Dear Vidovnir, how I have missed you. Would that I had come sooner, and not out of dire necessity. Thou art troubled. Speak that I might know thy plight. Thou wouldst have father admonish his brood brother. Wait, you... Oh, it's a... Oh, so... Okay. I would end this war without further bloodshed. So he's a child of one of the dragons we're actually going to be looking for then. How am I to believe thee, little one? When thine own companion beareth Nidhogg's stolen eye. Makes sense. Yeah, look at that smile. Have care, dragon, or I shall gouge out one of yours. You forget yourself, sir. We are here on a mission of peace. My sires will forbiddeth me from inviting discord to our home. Tis for this reason and no other that thou still drawest breath, knight. Vidofnir, please. We must be allowed to convey our intentions to Resvalgar in person, with words of our own choosing. Grant us this favor, and open the way to Som Al. Thou hast ever been welcome, little one. But I cannot grant thy wish. I am bound to remain here. And protect my kin from the Nath's god. The Nath have summoned a primal. <laughs> of course they did. They're a beast tribe. Another primal. Pray excuse my forwardness, but if we were to eliminate the threat to your territory, would you consent to Lady Isal's request? Isal's. Isal's. Ha! <laughs> Dost thou imagine thyself equal to the task? To succeed where dragons have failed. Tis beyond thee, mortal. But thou art welcome to try, nonetheless. Only know that idle promises shall avail thee naught. It would seem we have no choice but to make good on Alphino's offer. Why must our every bid for peace breed yet more war? Okay. Um, strength, vitality, directed. I'll, I'll, I'll take it.
Can we? Just... No, we'll just talk to her again. Oh, this looks like... Like a... Weird ass... No, don't tell me these are like these... Um, sort of clowns gear. Uh, if that is so, I would have taken the money. So, the, uh, the Gnev have summoned their gods and thus the mystery of their newfound be be uh, belliger be belligerence laid to rest. Are you not glad, Lady I said? I thought you would applaud for the summoning a primal to further their own end. After all, you did. I did not reach out to Saint Siva to further my own end. I desire her strength only to forge a new... Uh, the peace between man and dragon. But what a fool I am to speak of peace to you, a bloodthirsty savage who murders without thought or uh, compunction, compunction. Enough, enough. I say if the Gnav have truly brought forth the deity from the ether, we must face it together or watch out hopes of or watch our hopes falls apart. All now rests upon this primal's defeat. But ere we think of confining it, we must first study its origin. What is the true nature of this god? What matter of faith sustains its existence? My apologies. You are right, of course. Let us return to Tail Feather and consult with Marsh Champ. He knows more of the Gnav than the culture uh, and their culture at, than most. Okay, we'll just definitely attune to the Etherite over here. Just like that. I think this is actually going very fast, the story so far. I would not was not actually uh, anticipating that. Like, come on, well, we got it. This is almost like a full map. And there is the dungeon, and it seems that this is. Oh, this, this dungeon is some L. Okay, that's interesting. Hinderland? Two more dungeons. Cool. Now, we must go to. This one. But like I said, I'm, I'm not going to do the... Uh, like any dungeons while I've not done... The class quest. Oh, back already, are we? Hmm. Ah, met the Gav, did you? And what is it you'd like to... Yeah, of course you know, I don't interrupt you. That's it's fine. Summon a primal, you say? Seven hells? Well, I don't know bugger all about Gav religion, if I'm honest. Beyond their trading habits, there never seemed much point in asking. But it shouldn't be that hard to find out from time to time. We barter with a small hive to the northwest of here. Alfcast from the main tribe, from what I understand. I reckon they'll be willing to tell you a bit about themselves if you give them the right incense incentives. That sounds promising. And what exactly would the Garth consider to be the right incentive? Oh, nothing your average hunter couldn't scratch up in a day or two but seeing as you're in a hurry you might want to uh, divine the chores amongst yourself you'll want a good sized jar of land trap nectar a basket of some kind of a fruit and always the ground's favor a generous portion of young nanka flesh so a sweetener, a fruit, and a, and, and a vegetable, uh, and, and, and a meat. It sounds like dinner to me. I shall gather the fruit, leaping to the lower uh, branches of those forest uh, uh, giants. Should present little challenge to me. They will collect the nectar, and that leaves me to the food, to the, to the meat. 
Yeah, bring in the meat. You'll need to carve it from the smaller Nazca that live in the river. Three big hunks should be enough. Once you've got everything together, you'll need to set down uh, you need to set it down at what we call the trading post. Here, I'll mark the spot on your map for you. Uh, you've been most kind. Well then. Let us attend to the respective task and reconvene at the trading post. I need hardly add the last one. There is a rotten Nazca egg. Yeah, man, those jokes in 2015 are amazing. Holy shit, that's a cool looking chocobo. Nice. Man, this is... Wow, that's really close. To oh, this is locked. Nice, we have to go all the way around. Alright, let's go. Killing time. Man, I'm happy with this little shortcut over here. Let's take a quick look here. Stay on here. Oh, okay. They're disgusting. Oh, we need a small... Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's going to be two for the price of one. Can we just draw it out? So we don't have to? Yeah, we can. Nice. Uh, we should probably start with Edge of Darkness next time so we can immediately utilize the buff that we get. Ah, uh, okay, well, whatever. Might as well just draw them out. Come here. Use that one as well. Just kill the big one first. Oh, he's definitely tougher than the other one. Holy crap, man, that's just three of them right over here. If we skipped that, we could have just done all three of them at the same time. Oh well. Seems we need to go up. Is that a bear? <laughs> cool. I'm not fighting any trees. Go away. <laughs> not today. Uh, north, west. Interesting. Okay, Alfie not. I was able to get a, go uh, a godly amount of nectar from the uh, uh, land traps. Uh, I would not know how to harvest it without your store's help. Do you have the Naka meat? Yeah, I do. Spend it. 
Then I shall put this with assistance fruit and assembly a suitable, generous looking hamper for the knife. Okay, so you're basically just cooking them dinner. That's nice. It's, oh, this this is going to be some ugly ass clothing. I'm I'm going to most likely don't like it. Okay. Wait, what the hell is this? It's a ring. One twenty five disciples of magic, 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 magic. Uh, yeah, wow, that's a good one. I don't know. I honestly don't know what the. I think it's like aiming for the machinist. Yeah, I think it's aiming for the machinist. It is. Thank you, Ida. I appreciate that. Well, everything appears to be in order. Assuming no one has any objections of my choice of presentation, I shall place our offering at the trading post as instructed. Where I of the NAF, I think I would be sus. Wait, you're just talking about your own cooking skills. But seriously, you just it put it in a bag? Well, how long must we wait? Should we have sounded a signal or some sort? Uh, calm yourself, our offering has not gone unnoticed. Look at him go! Bloody cute! Click, click. <sighs> Long has it been since hunters came to trade bearing gifts that filled the air with such delightful scents. Lantrip nectar, some fruit and flesh. Look at them go. What delicious foods have you brought for us? Uh, our meager existence is much enriched by your bounty. Come hunters, come to our hive if you would trade. Cramped and stifled our homes are, but the ranchite incest keeps the dragons at bay. Okay, that, that's nice. Cramped, stifling. Oh, that. And horribly smelly. Well, I'd better to live in stench than be cracked and crunched by dragon jaw. I agree, man. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Yeah, we'll finish this squad quest and then we'll call it. I do need to feed. Wait, where the hell are we going? Wait, is that? Can I go this way? Wait, is that closed? Oh, I'm going to bet you I need to. Oh, he's a god. Wait, does this open? Oh, yeah, nice. Awesome. Okay, I like that. But, there's no Ephorite over here. Your presence has been announced to the storyteller. You must speak to a chosen leader in words of We Are Vav. And, uh, and we are the non-mind. The non-mind? They're not really like a hive. Welcome to a hive, hunters. You brought delicious delicacies, much sought after by our people, and we are much pleased. What would you have in return? Honored Elder, pray allow me to begin by thanking you f uh, for welcoming us into your home. And for accepting my humble offerings. My companions and I are come in search of knowledge, specifically knowledge of your people's God. Knowledge alone, what strange hunters you are. But if it's words you desire... Then words you shall have. We are the Vav, the non-minds, and to speak is our faith. You will hear the tale of the Gam, of the uh, the Gam's God, of the God of the One Mind summoned into our midst. The One Mind? Oh yeah, they're the hives, and these are the non-hives. Then the One Mind. These are the Gam who reside in the main colony. 
Yes, they are connected. Let us begin the story at the beginning. Some moons ago, a single dragon flew in from the east. Bleeding and weak, it fell from the sky and into the hive, where it, uh, where it was swarmed by my brethren. And with spear and spell and musket, the dragon was slain. It was likely one that had a flat battle with my, uh, with my kinsmen. I would commend you for finishing the job. Hmm? Oh, come on, stop looking at each other. You know, it, what do you expect him to say? Dragons are fierce and terrible adversaries. The one mind would always cower when their winged shadow passed over the ground, but no longer. They had learned that a battle-weary Dravania is a easy prey. Thus did the one mind decide to heed the words of the black robe men. The one, hive, the one mind would call forth our god and unleashed his blades upon the dragons. Dravanian land would become Garfland, and ever large would groan our domain. But our god ever hungers. The price he demands in crystal far exceeds the rewards for this war. We of the Vav despise and revere, uh, revile his insufferable existence. Uh, yeah, aiming. There we go. Alright, that, that's it then. Um, this is where we will continue next time. Uh, which will be Sunday night. We also have a blue quest. It seems. And we leveled up to 55. So, yeah. Got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, let us just return to... I don't have to go all the way back. I can just go over here. Till feather. And log out over there. Yeah, so thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Ida, thank you for joining me as well as Helen and uh, MC Wolfcat for keeping me company. And whoever else is lurking, have a great and fantastic day. And I'll hope to see you Sunday night, I assume. Yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye.